Fuck yeah, bro! Fuck yeah! Yo, yo, name's Richie fucking Dominic. I'm here to meet with a fat Tony. Yo, if y'all are talking to me, I can't fucking hear nothing. Yo, Tony, you hear me, bro? Hey, what's going on? How are yeah, you? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, there you go. What's going on, bros? Name's Richie Dominic. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had to clear my throat a little bit. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. I thought maybe I got a little bit of bleach in my ears from when I frosted my tips earlier. Hey, well, you know. Oh, Jesus. Like... Yeah, you frost. I see you frosted your tips, yeah. Bro, it goes with my fucking sick chain. I, is that your, is that your new car? Bro, yeah, fuck yeah. The Supra. All pimped out. All right. Souped up to the fucking max, bro. No shit, huh? This is my nephew was talking, man. Like I said, he's kind of a screwball. Bro, this screwball is gonna be making panties drop and stacking up those fucking pink slips. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be swimming in pink slips like fucking Scrooge McDuck in a money bin. All right, Richie, you wanna you no, wanna hop my take my. Yet. All right, hey Richie, you take it easy. Nice meeting you. My the name's Maverick, by the way. All right, Mav, nice to meet you, bro. Hey, bro, you ever want to race? I'll take you on the highway to the motherfucking danger zone. That's what I'm talking about. All righty, sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, you want to, You just want to get in my car, Richie, and leave you a seat, or...? Right, I'll do that, bro. Not, but if it rains, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I can hear him. Oh, I shouldn't have reached for that. I probably fucked your shit up, bro. That's good. Don't worry about it. Later, broskies. They better not fuck with my cop. Boy, it, 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 thank you for, you know, embarrassing me in front of my new church friends, you know. Bro, what do you mean embarrassing you? How, how can I fucking embarrass you? Do you see that fucking sweet ride I pulled up in? The only way that could have looked cooler is if I had a fucking banging Italian bitch with a bikini up in there. And I ain't talking about no fucking Snooky, bro. Yeah, well, you know, they're very, uh, they're very, you know, strict on that stuff, you know, they're... I guess they're Catholic, and, you know... Alright, well, if, they're, if it's a Catholic church, and I'm sure they're fine with me sticking my dick in anyone else who's also Italian, as long as I face the East and fucking pull out or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright. You know, I was doing some searching around today, right? I want you to take, I want you to show you a nice little location I found today, alright? It's a little laundry mat up uh, out in Sandy Shorts, you know, but it's laundry mat, it's like no ordinary laundry mat, you know. Yo, that if works for me, uh... bro. I've been wearing these clothes since I got off the fucking train. I've been spending all my money on gold, drugs, booze, and fucking sweet rides. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it's lot, no, remember that, uh, remember that one trip we had out to the boat uh, a few nights ago? Bro, how could I forget? The shocks were everywhere, man. You just fucking knew it. Yeah, yeah. Remember that, uh, remember that money you got, too, right? I still got eight and a half dirty fucking dollars in my pocket, bro. Well, we getting our ass ripped, bro. Good, good, good. I don't know if he had yeah, ill intentions or if it's just some fucking local putts. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty young. But, uh... This is, uh, you know, this is the, uh, this place, you just put your money in there, you know, and you, uh, you know, you store it in there, and then you take out the, uh, take out the clean money, you know. The money, it's a, uh, you know, you like laundering the money, you know. Oh, bro, yeah, man, I seen this show on Netflix called the fucking Ozarks, bro. That, that teaches you how to fucking launder money. Do I need to watch a couple episodes again before we go down there? 
Eh, uh, no, no, you no need for that. It's on Netflix, bro. You should fucking watch it, alright? I'm... Bro. Like, I swear. I swear on my fucking ma. Your sister-in-law, alright? Fucking swear. Quality fucking show. Hey, have you ever uh, run in with the police yet, or what? Nah, bro. All my fucking business has gone under the radar. Did a bunch of time... Well, not did a bunch of time, but spent a bunch of time, uh, you know, working with, uh, some of nature's, uh... Nature's little plants there, those fucking spiky green things. You know what I'm talking about, Uncle Tone. Yeah, yeah. Hey, here we go. Get this, Uncle Tone. I pull in there, there's a fucking homeboy lying down in the grass, just fucking passed out. I'm like, yo, bro, you there, bro? And he wasn't saying anything, so I wrote a little letter, and I said, bro, I'm here. I tried to say hi, bro, but you're gone, bro. But yeah, I left a- Whoa! Bro. Bro. Yeah, not a lot of people know this place, too. I'm like, it is like... I was like, I think I'm like the first one to fucking find this place, not to shit. But I sold some schmuck 500k for this place. So he knows too, but he fucking wasted 500k. Bro, what a fucking tool. You just throw your fucking money in the washing machine and it's done? I'm telling you, bro, not gonna lie. I was a little nervous, maybe a pig was gonna go through my fucking pockets and notice that each one of those fucking bills was sequential. Yeah, yeah, so now you just put your money in here, and then boom, now you get clean money now. Over and done with, bro. Good, 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 good. Bro, you think those guys at the church liked my new fucking haircut? Shit, call me apparently my, uh, my crush is at the Legion Square, so I gotta go talk to her. Hey, yo, what's her name, bro? I forgot, so that's why I gotta talk to her again. Oh, I know how it goes, bro. You gotta fucking put those leading questions out there, and then eventually, you know, you get her to say her own fucking name, and you don't look like a douchebag, and your chances of pussy go up easily 5%. Exactly, I was talking to the chief of EMS, or a cousin, I don't know, I think it was a twin sister, I think, I'm not too sure, but I was trying to get a number because, you know, I thought I was gonna have another heart attack, so I needed a number just in case, you know, if I have another one, but I actually made things very fucking awkward between us two, and uh, she told me not to talk to her again, and uh, yeah. I, I could see that, bro. You got a crying baby in the fucking trunk, bro. Is this something you ain't fucking telling me? Oh, of course, of course, I'm gonna put a crying baby in the trunk. Are you eating the crying baby in the fucking trunk, Tone? No, no, no. I'm really talking about deep frying, you know. Alright, so I was gonna say, if you ain't deep frying that shit, that's fucking gross. The hell is fucking wrong with you, Don? You need me to fucking drive. No, that's good, good. I need to eat something real quick. Let me tell you right now. I don't care if there's fucking 5 0 on the streets or not. I have a certain level of tolerance for disrespect. Hey, man, there's no need to. There's no need to be too mad <laughs> about these things, man. Bro, respect is hey, fucking everything man. around here. Hey, I agree, man. Respect is a lot of things, man. I definitely agree, man. But no. sometimes we I... need to uh, wait for violence, you know, man. Yeah, I uh, I don't particularly care for uh, that Brett Lewis guy because he was sorry about that. I, I'm getting a shit ton of phone calls, you know. Fuck, that's what that's what it comes to being a businessman. I was the uh, who was he talking to me earlier, again in leather jacket. So, How you uh, doing? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I man, can't crazy stand him at all. No, any, any, what's that? Hey, bro. Who the hell are you? Bro! It's 
fucking Richie. You met me the huh. other day. I'm Fat Tony's little nephew. But I was going to say, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. everyone's sitting there hanging out at the fucking parking lot again. I'm thinking we should get our fucking bats and go cause some fucking trouble. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think I've been kidnapped, bro. Do what? I said, I think I've been kidnapped, bro. Hang on, I gotta go pick up uh, Quincy real quick. All right, bro. Hey, watch where you're fucking going over here, bro. Hi. Oh, I think this guy wants to start fucking Take beef, bro. Me. Oh. Bro, we gonna take this guy or what? Yeah. Yeah, no, sure. I, I didn't mean like take him for a ride. I I thought I thought this I thought this guy was starting fucking beef and we were gonna have to fucking tune him up. Nah, nah, nah. He's an associate. Oh, is this that fucking Quincy you were talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can fucking respect that. You see this though up here? This gotta go. What we're looking at on the right, this all gotta go. People gotta fucking disperse, you know, like a fucking fat in the room. Yeah. Mm hmm. Name's the only one I can remember is uh, Mac Tavish. It's the only real name I can oh, remember. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah, yeah. Who's this guy? You no, know, uh, I was, I, I kind of came before, you know, kind of after, but there's this kid there. No. Uh, the shit hey, you know, bro, kid, no fucking police. pictures. Oh shit, man. Flight? Um... You gotta uh, Tony! Fuck out! Tony! Picture these fucking hey, nuts, bro! Hey, Richie, Richie, alright, you can calm down. You can calm Imagine. down, alright? He pulled out a fucking cell phone and took a picture directly of Mr. White. Tony. You telling me that uh, that's Richie, acceptable, bro? Shoes. Maybe he was taking a picture of the car, you know, that's a nice car. Bro, I think he's fucking FBI. And now he ain't fucking jack shit. Uh, all right. <laughs> the only FBI oh, hey, around here my... should be me and you, bro. Full-blooded fucking Italians. Yeah, you know. I know. I know. I know. I'm, I'm glad you guys met. That's my nephew. He came from Liberty City, and he's a handful. All right. Nice to meet you, man. So, after spending the day meeting Uncle Tony's friends, I decided to go out for a little cruise on my motorcycle. Even though there were some cops on tonight, I decided to speed and run some of the red lights, the same as I would have if there were no cops online. I was curious how Richie could handle himself in a situation with the police, and also how they would treat him. So honestly, I had so much of a lead on that cop, and I never needed to go faster than like 65, 70 to outrun him. And in the city limits, the speed limit is 50, so I mean, really, that's not even that fast. Not like, you know, crazy high-speed chase speed. So that being said, I kind of feel like I've got a good argument for saying, you know, I never saw anyone behind me. Because, I mean, like, honestly, that guy was pretty far back. So I think I have a pretty solid defense here. Um to keep me from getting in any trouble with felony evasion. However, I don't think there's going to be any running from these sirens. Time to pull over and see what happens. Uh, whoa! Whoa, might I ask why there's four fucking cops here? Uh... Get off the bike. Might I ask, what is going on, officer? We need you to step off the bike, okay? Okay, and then we'll what explain do you everything. We'll we'll explain everything. We just need you to step off the bike. I mean, if you just wanted to take a look at my chain, I don't fucking blame you. It's pretty fucking spiffy. 
But I don't understand why I don't understand why I'm being treated like fucking public enemy number one over here. Oh, you're not, sir. You hang tight. You guys mind if I smoke a butt? You want to light it with your taser, boss? All right, sir. You're not arrested. Just be detained at this time. Might I ask why? No one has told me why, and that is the part that is supposed to come by now. All right. So you ran from the officer previously? What are you talking Speeding about? Through town. Yeah, your 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 specific bike. Just ignore that. Ignore that. Your specific bike was seen. Cutting through town at a high rate of speed. I've been driving and somewhere then, uh, 40 to 60, you know. And uh, I think at a higher rate than that, sir. All right, well, you're thinking or you got it on a radar, boss? Uh, no, you got it. Nope, not a radar. And hold so on. I'm sure I... somebody has their own body cam. All right, that's that's great and everything, boss. But you said something about me running from a cop. And eluding. Yeah, yeah, you mind telling me about that? Come into play. I ain't They've been, been chasing chased. you for quite some time. I ain't been chased by no okay. cops till I stopped right here. Yes. Give me one second. I've been hearing sirens all fucking night, don't get me wrong. But every time I looked behind me, I didn't see jack shit, bro. I respect you guys, and I ain't gonna run from you guys over 60 miles an hour in a couple of red lights. You know what I'm fucking saying, boss? Yeah, but it's just kind of weird when my my deputy chief IDs you. You know what I mean? IDs me? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, he ID'd you. He was he was the one that was chasing you. All right, boss. Well, I never saw no one behind me. And you know, sometimes I'm shooting bullshit at people. Sometimes I'm not. But I'm gonna look you right in your eyes. I'm gonna try and out of respect, I'm gonna tell you, I never saw no one behind me, boss. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I got it. All right. Look, I'll tell you what. You sound like a decent guy. May have been some sort of confusion. I am going to give you a few tickets, though, for the running. Hey, you know, like I said, bro, I respect you. You got a job to do. I ain't going to fault you on that. But I don't know nothing about no running from no one. All right, well, like I said, I, I can't just let you go. My, my, dep my deputy chief... You know, he ID'd you as the one that flew. The least oh. I can do is write you a ticket. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I respect that, bro. I totally respect that. All right, you have yourself a good day. All right, that's all. Uh, that's all. Oh, I'll, I'll send that in tomorrow, boss. All right, sounds good. Oh, maybe you should be asking those guys what they're smoking. Holy shit. I cannot believe I just talked my way out of that. I mean, let's be honest, guys. They were fully within their rights to take me to jail for fleeing in a lunar. But let this be a lesson. Whether you're dealing with a street thug or a cop, sometimes a little respect can go a long way.